sectional and we're having some issues here. So this bracket right here came off down below so they're actually separating right here. So that's one of the issues. And then the other issue is, is when you sit here, this spot just sinks down. So you fall right into the couch. So we're gonna turn it over and look at, to see what we can do. And right it. here is where we're having an issue. And when I put my foot here, this is just sinking right down to the bottom. So the other pieces, you can see this is still firmer over here. So we're gonna flip this over and see what that is. And then we're gonna screw this back together. Kids are unscrewing the legs. We've removed all the staples on the backing here. And you can see as we come down, this one's broken, this bowed. So that's gonna reduce some. And then on the other one, the sagging back here. So we're gonna, oh, right here. So that broke right there. So what I did is I ended up cutting that out. I, this is a lot harder. Whatever they used as a really solid wood, it was just there was a knot there. So I've got it screwed in on both sides. It's gonna, we're just gonna come around here and staple this backing on. So you don't even need this backing on. You can put it on. It's your choice. Um, I think they just put that on so that you're not, when you're purchasing it, you're not seeing how cheap these things are actually made. So it's just some chip for it. There is some hardwood here. I'm not sure what it is, but some springs. It's not very much and they get you for, I think you paid 12 or $1,500 for this set. So that's why the, the bottom <laughs> is on. And then after you finish stapling, you're just gonna come through and you do need to pound those down. And now we've screwed in this bracket, bolted that in. Next we flipped the couch over, sat in it. We noticed that this spring popped free after we did that, so we flipped it back up. Um, we checked the tightness, and these springs over here on the edge where we never sit, they're still nice and tight and bouncy. Went through, they were a little less springy in the middle, so they are a little looser. And then we kind of take a view from the side to see if they're level, and when we look down, uh, the set right there where we were sinking in, it's like bent out towards us. So those springs are a little bent. So then before we get started, we're just going to come through, grab our springs. We're going to give them a quick little crimp. Just this will help tighten them up. Bring them back to life a little bit. And we'll just go through the hole. Squeezing those made those a lot tighter, but they will start to unspring. So this is a spot where we usually sit and it sags the most. So what I've done, and I didn't record it, is I zigzagged wire on both sides of this here just so I could get more support through that section. And now that it's wired together, we're gonna pull the couch back down. You do not have to put the bottom back on. It's just kind of there so that you don't see how cheaply they're made, but by not putting it back on, we can still get back if there's any issues and look at those springs again. I got the section all put back together. I just used stuff in my house. So it was missing two bolts over there. I had two bolts that actually fit in there. So I got that bracket put back on. So that's put back together. The board was broken. I just used wood that I had at the house put that back together. And then I just used some wire coat hangers and wired those springs back together so that they had support from one another. It's not sagging anymore, but the couch is all put back together. It cost me nothing but some time and saved me 1,500 bucks having to buy a new one. Hopefully this helps. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.